Livingston. Ariki Tan shoots. Yeah! Yeah! Build the dream in FIFA 20, pay less and get more, and use the code TVM at checkout for a bigger discount. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at Leon Goretzka. I have a Bundesliga team, but this isn't my main account. This is of oh, my Road to Glory account with my main team on it. This is my main account that I open packs on, and I've got half a Bundesliga team, half a Premier League team. And I've, I've just done a video on Sancho, and while doing it, and I wasn't intending on doing a review on Goretzka, he has outperformed every player in the team tenfold. He's been so, so good. He saved me so many times in defence. And that's exactly where I'm playing him. He is a CDM in a 4-1-2-2. Is that a waste for Goretzka? Should he be more of a box-to-box -box midfielder? Yeah, probably. So four-star weak foot, three-star skills, high medium, 6-2. Good start. Going to the uh, stats, you can see that he's extremely well-rounded. You could probably tell that from the card anyway. So you've got uh, quite a lot of pace, really. I mean, 84. I don't think we're going to improve it. It depends on realistically where you want to play him. You could give him an engine, which would really boost um, the pace amongst a few other things that could help him. But we'll, like I said, we'll go through that. Um, he's got adequate finishing for a CM. He's got 84 short passing, which could be better for a central midfield player. Uh, 84 reactions is good. Ball control is good. Uh, composure, yeah, it's okay at 80. Maybe you would expect it or hope that it would be a little bit higher. But then as you go through every stat, you realize, oh, he's actually got okay defensive stats. He's got reasonably good to okay physical stats and dribbling and passing and shooting. He's good at everything. You know, he, he's he's well-rounded. It's the, the only way to describe it. Now... Chem style wise, let me show you the team we've got him in, just in case you've missed the Sancho review. Uh, we're playing him in the midfield here in a 4 4 2. However, we do, like I say, go into a 4 1 2 and 2. I think what I'll do is I'll play him as a CDM for the majority, but I will give him a few games as a central midfield player. I have used him in the friendlies game mode a lot as a cam, because uh, he was the only player realistically that I could put there. And he was all right, but I, did, I felt like his finishing maybe let him down as a cam. Because for me personally, my cam acts as if he's like a third striker. What do we want to give him? Because you could you could go so many different ways with it. It depends on where you want to play him. For, for the purpose of what I want personally, a powerhouse turns him into an 87 rated CDM. Turns him into an 88 rated central midfield player actually. But it depends on whether you want or need or feel the need to improve the finishing. If you are using him slightly further forward then the finishing is obviously going to be an important thing for you. Um, maybe you could give him a Maestro. Again, he's an 87-rated CM. He's now an 88-rated Cam. You improve the ball control and the passing, but you also get a nice long shot, shot power boost. Uh, you could give him an engine, which improves that pace slightly. You get a nice boost on ball control and dribbling and things, but you also get a nice passing boost. That only turns him into an 86-rated central midfield player, so it's it's entirely up to you what you want to do. The architect, of course, turns him into an 87, artist into 89, because you really do go heavy on the passing and the, and the dribbling. But like I say, for my purposes today, I'm going to give him a powerhouse. So with that being said, we now have the short passing boosted by 15. Vision's up into the 90s with that boost as well. Crossing is 80 just in case you need it. Long passing is much improved as well as the curve. You've got the defensive stats have all gone through the roof. The only one that hasn't been touched, which is the one that I genuinely couldn't care about, is heading. And that's at 80 anyway, so I'm happy with it. It's probably not the best chem style to give Goretzka. But for the position that I personally want to play him in, which is a CDM, it's the best chem style to give him. Because you get a nice pass of boosting. You get a nice boost of passing, rather. How does the brain do that? I couldn't do that again if I tried. Anyway, and you also get a nice defensive boost, of course. So you've got 89 stand tackle, 82 defensive awareness, 84 interceptions. His interceptions, as you'll see by the clips, are already fantastic. So I'm really not that bothered by that. And... Um, Obviously, 83 slide tackle. But, yeah, in general, that is a very, very good card. And I've given you options for other chem styles. But just for my needs, that's what I'm going to give him. And without any further ado, let's get into the clips. My next opponent has a couple of ones to watches. He's got Verghorst in there. So he's obviously going to be going for crosses. And he's got Sane at the back. Uh, good side. But with those crosses, he might struggle, hopefully. Back it comes to Lingard. This is Puki. Holds it up well. Fouled, I thought. Referee says play on. That's not the pass I've played. And we've lost the ball. I have no idea where Jaden Sancho has gone. Goretzka lunges in there. Didn't need to. 
My opponent comes forward. Goretzka intercepted it. I read it. We've put him in the correct position. He's picked it up. Here's Jaden Sancho. Alcathé. Uh, I've just told Sancho to go on a run, and I'm going to get a second bite. Well, I would have done, but it kind of selected me as I touched the ball. It was very weird. Goretzka with a nice interception. That's twice for him now that he's stopped the attack. Sancho with room to move. That's great from Goretzka. I'll tell you what, I've, I mean, I've used Goretzka a lot because, again, I packed him quite early on. But I've been massively impressed with him in this game in particular as we've conceded a goal 100% against the runner play. Uh, luckily for me, it's on my main account on rival, so I really don't care. But that is 100% against the runner play. And Goretzka has still impressed me despite the fact that we've conceded a goal. Here's Goretzka with a lovely interception again. I'll tell you what, I'm a big fan. I'm sold on him. I really am. I'm picking him up instead of Taliso. Puki back in for Sancho here. Peace check wins it. Comes to Salah, who will have won that surely. There's Alcathé, who can't get it past the defender. Of course not. Goretzka again. He has been by far the best player in this team. There's Alcathé. Goretzka. Standing up, Brandt, and he does it well. Gets the ball back, plays it to Alcathea, through to Sancho. Didn't have enough on the ball to take it. Here's Goretzka, again, marking the space, trying to hold up play. Shot comes across. Please tell me that we're going to get enough on that. Keeper punches it and, and might go out for a corner. It's going to be kept in by Julian Brandt. Oh, he's blocked me off there. I, he hasn't meant to, but he has 100% blocked me off. And Goretzka's kicked it against the attacker in Delaney. Here comes Lingard into the middle. Goretzka has done wonders. Here's Sancho. Great from Goretzka. I mean, I could do a Goretzka review every game I played with him, I think. So, as previously mentioned before we went into the gameplay... You, you know, feel free to use him wherever you want. You can use him as a CDM. I've proved that. He's more than adequate. And when he drives forward, he does it with purpose and intent. And you have the ability to play it forward to whomever you want with accuracy. Because his passing is now 99 and his vision is now 92. He's got very good ball control and very good reactions with adequate dribbling as well. So if you do need to just bring it out from the back... You can do that, and you can do it with confidence, knowing that Goretzka's good on the ball. The problem I have with Taliso is that he's nowhere near as well-rounded as Goretzka, so he's not as quick as him for a start, which can po uh, pose a problem. And then, of course, he doesn't have the other stats that Goretzka has. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to upgrade him, and Goretzka just seemed like a, a natural thing to do. Like, if you want an out-and-out -out CDM... Axel Witzel is probably your man. He's better, right? But I, it's not that I want an out-and-out -out CDM. I do need him to be able to perform passes and be good on the ball. And, you know, having the four-star weak foot is, is valuable. Does the high attacking work rate affect him would be the first major question. I actually have him uh, to drop between defenders. That's the, the setting. You know, last year you had stay back while attacking. This year, drop between defenders is the be-all and end-all for a CDM. And it kind of goes into a three at the back because my full backs are on overlap. And it really does help out a lot. And Goretzka's frame being 6'2", and the fact that that high attacking work rate just pinches him forward slightly. I found that he doesn't drop back as much as Taliso does, and he doesn't drop back as much as other people do with high defensive work rates or even medium-medium. He just sits in front of the two centre-backs because he's obviously got that high attacking work rate. And that's even better for me. It really does work because it means that as soon as you get countered, Goretzka is just a little bit further forward to be the first line of defense as opposed to just the flat back three essentially with your full backs tracking back so yeah I, I don't know whether I'm making that up but to be fair it sounds right and it, it felt right in game there are three center mid or cams in the Bundesliga that you must have in and around your team Goretzka, Brandt and Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz maybe less so now that he has that in form he's going to be maybe too expensive but Goretzka and Brandt in particular are so good and um, I would definitely recommend them. If you have enjoyed the review, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for new, of course, and until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.